Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have, yes, finally, after years, we have the first JTG Doherty Diecast ever produced in years. Guys, it was 2019 the last time we got one of these produced, and it was from Ryan Priest. Well, guess what? We got the second Ryan Priest Cup car produced here, guys. Oh my goodness, the Velveeta Darlington throwback. But to me, this is not a Darlington throwback. You can use this as a primary paint scheme very easily. So, without further ado, let's go and get it out of the box. Here we go, folks, right out of the good old box, and check out this diecast. Guys, we have waited so many years for this car to get produced. How many cars we try to pre-order to get a, a, a Stenhouse or a, a Ryan Priest uh, JTG Doherty diecast made? And unfortunately, unfortunately, the we finally get one, and then they, they discontinue the 37 car for JTG Doherty Racing, because why not? So, uh, unfortunately, this is probably the last uh, time we'll ever get a 37 diecast, so you kind of want to uh, enjoy it while you can. But I will say, though, the three on this is very close to not only Dale Sr.'s three, but it's very close to the number 13 that Casey Mears and Ty Dillon both drove, both drove for Jermaine Racing. So, you got Priest right there on the front windscreen. you got Vel Vita right there on the hood, and this whole paint scheme Reminds me so much of Jeff, Jeff Burton's 2003 car. It was a very cheesy uh, Ford Taurus, that is. Now, the front uh, bow tie decal is a little bit skewed there, unfortunately. Get the number 37, uh, Sudoku, JTG Doherty Racing, guys. I can't believe I'm actually holding a JTG Doherty Racing diecast. Let me tell you, if you want to as well, make sure to go get yours at Circle B Diecast, guys. Make sure to get yours because I have a feeling this is going to be a car you're going to wish you had years from now. I, I don't know why. It's 2021. It's the, you know, Ryan Priest has a pretty good following, guys. I don't know, but I would certainly make sure you pick up this diecast, guys. And if you want to get free shipping, make sure you use my promo code down below, guys. I would love you forever. Use the code Diecast Buffet at checkout, and you'll get free shipping, guys. This is an awesome looking car. <laughs> this car is just so freaking cool, man. Like it, the car looks so fast because you have like the Velveeta cheese. But it's just a good-looking paint scheme. The red, yellow, and red. I love it, man. Uh, or yellow, red, and yellow. Very cool-looking piece. You got the 37 right there. Velveeta, Wix Air Filters, American Ethanol. Nothing on the C-pillar. Look how good they actually wrapped the shark fin on this one, guys. I mean, look at this. They actually got the like the, the cheese uh, motion all the way above the shark fin. And then they wrapped it on the other side. Look, that is great quality right there. I got to be honest with you. I know we nitpick them a lot, but that is great quality right there. Uh, you get uh, whatever those logos are, SEM and some, I think these are throwback variants perhaps. Got Sherwin Williams there. You get the American, uh, or not American, but uh, NASCAR Salutes decal there. Goodyear uh, throwback decal. Let's go to the back end of this car. You got the Velveeta logo once again. You got the ZL1 Camaro 1LE. You know, what is up with cheese die cast getting produced? We got the Bobby Ray Use cheese truck produced. Now we get a now we get a Ryan Priest one. I mean, good lord, people are gonna get constipated with all these cheese die casts. Uh, 37 right there. As we explore the right side of this die cast here. Now both sides are symmetrical, right? And both sides are symmetrical. Unfortunately, the 37 is a little bit lowered on this side, and it looks like the name is a little bit off as well. But look, to tell you the truth, I couldn't care less because I'm just so happy and thankful we actually got a JTG Doherty Racing diecast. And I tell you what, man, you can make this into a primary paint scheme for your diecast series. I mean, imagine this. You swap out the wheels, right? And you take a Cup Series decal and you put it right there. So if you look at the car like this, where you just ignore the Goodyear decals and, of course, the, uh, the throwback logo... There's nothing about this paint scheme that says it's a throwback to me, even though it is considered a throwback. To me, you could use this as a primary paint scheme in your diecast stop motion with ease. So you go to the roof of the car here, you got the 37 decal there. It looks like there's a little bit of a, maybe a chip or something there. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, the 37 is uh, white in the middle with a very thin red stripe within kind of a dark blue outlining to it. Uh, very, very nice stuff. Got two Velveeta uh, decals here. I will admit, I wish this was just one decal instead of two. I don't like when logos do that. They just put two separate ones. I think it just looks really goofy. Uh, go to the back end of the car. Got Priest. And holy cow, check this out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We got a NOS Energy decal on a car. Oh, my God. We got a NOS Energy decal on a car, man. On a freaking car. Bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This this is hilarious. So this reminds me of when we got a Matt Matt to Bit of diecast one year and it had the the Monster Energy logo on the on the trunk. We have a NOS Energy decal on the freaking deck lid. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me, man. That's hilarious. 
Uh, and for those who don't know, NOS Energy doesn't want their like, die cast getting made, so they're, they they pretty much get their, their panties in a wad over it. So uh, that is pretty funny. I'm glad that's on the car. So you got uh, NOS Energy right there, as, so everyone can see. Uh, whatever that is, Nature Valley, Don Dish Soap, Scott's Bushes Baked Beans. I mean, good Lord, you're already going to have enough cheese. You're going to throw beans in there as well. Holy cow, man. It's always going to be backed up for weeks. Uh, I got Crest, Downy, uh, whatever that is. Is that Red Baron Pizza? What the biff? Energizer, Healthy Choice, uh, Hugs, the, the drink hugs. You got Minute Rice, and you got uh, Louisiana Hot Sauce in Hershey's, because why not? So if that doesn't give you diabetes or it makes you constipated for a week, at least we know we have NOS Energy to wash it all down. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I cannot believe that they have a NOS Energy logo on this diecast, which to my knowledge is the first time in years, and I tell you years, we have a NOS Energy car. I want to say the last one made was 2013, and it was Ricky Stenhouse Jr. I, I could be mistaken on that one. Don't, don't quote me on that one. Uh, but I do believe it was 2013. Uh, but nonetheless, though, this is a pretty cool looking car. We did a little bit of exploring on it. We found a NOS Energy decal. Uh, it's a very cheesy situation. But I tell you what, guys, I'm going to give this car a 9.5 out of 10. The only thing I could probably change on it is maybe making the door numbers just a fraction bigger. That would probably be my only pet peeve. Um, and then these little logos right here. To be honest with you, I'm 100% happy with it, but you know, in terms of a diecast review, you have to find something to nitpick about. Uh, that'd probably be my only thanks, but nonetheless, get yourself one of these Ryan Priest cars. I've already gotten me one. Make sure to get yours today, guys. You're not going to want to miss out on this car, especially if you missed out on the J.J. Yaley car, especially if you missed out on the Garrett Smithley car. Heck, even the Austin Cindric 2021 Daytona car. I'm telling you, man, that Verizon car, you better get it while you can because, you know, he's a Daytona 500 champion now. Think about Kyle Larson 2013. Think about uh, Chase Sale in 2015. Both of those cars, the part-time rookie cars, dried up like the year of the flood. That Austin Cindric one could be the next one uh, in the ballpark, so to speak. But anyways, I want to say thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Can't believe it. We got a JTG Doherty diecast made. This is amazing. I have been waiting months for this car. I'm so excited to finally be able to review it for you guys. It is a slam dunk. It looks fantastic. That black spoiler looks great on this diecast. Holy cow, man. There is, there, there's almost nothing to complain about with this paint scheme. Thoroughly impressed and I can't even remember what the throwback is for this truck. It was some, it was a, or for this car. It was a throwback to a truck series paint scheme from the 2000s, I believe. But like I said, this paint scheme, I don't even consider it a throwback. I consider it a normal primary paint scheme because it just looks that good. Have a great one, everybody. Diecast Buffet, signing off.